Good morning all, this is Diana again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do some machine quilting uh, using my easy frames. You could also use the same technique if you have fast frames or something like that. I have made this quilt for a gentleman and I want to do some wording and some stipple quilting along the borders and this is the way I'm going to do it. Uh, I have printed out, I have di digitized the wording I want to do and this one is family and I have uh, printed out the, the sheet on it and I have marked the middle of the top of my quilt and then I have marked the middle of where I want the name to go so I'm going to center the name just like that so it's going to go right in the middle of this wide border here um, then what I'm going to do I have taken my uh, easy frame and I have made a mark here with the ruler straight across so this way I'm going to make sure I've got the quilt nice and straight at the top I'm not going to be putting any stabilizer on the bottom or anything it's because I don't need it on here and I don't want to have to pick off a lot of stabilizer so what I'm going to do is line up my uh, mark here my center mark with my center mark up here and I have got some sticky double-sided tape right here where the mark is and I'm just going to stick the border down right there and then I've got some at the bottom of my hoop here and I'm going to press that down tightly then I have cut a couple of pieces of ribbon that I am going to wrap over the top of the frame and I'm going to pin it to the top of the binding here that's going to hold that in place while it's it's embroidering, while it's stitching. Um, I'm going to do that on the other side here. And pull that, that, that up out of the way. Then I'm going to take some binder clips and clip around the outside of the frame like this. This is going to hold it stable. I'm going to remove my little handles. I had done a simple reason I'm not doing that is because it held the the uh, fabric underneath there and it stitched through it so this way it's not going to uh, get in the way of the stitching. And I'm just going to clamp some more on here. One more. One more here on the side here. See what I'm doing here. Just like that. Then I'm going to put a couple on the bottom here just to make sure it's holding it nice and firmly. Alright, now I have got it all hooped and I'm going to stick it, uh, put it on my frame here. Just like this. Make sure it's on there good and tighten down my, my screws up here. Now I'm going to take it to my machine and put it on my machine. Okay, now I've got it over here in my machine and I'm just going to slide it onto my machine just like this. 
I do have a trash can set up underneath my machine to kind of to hold the, the quilt up and then I'm going to make sure that I've got my quilt out of the way of the machine. Uh, I've already got my uh, design loaded and I'm going to move uh, my uh, needle to my starting point and then I'm going to do a trace and yes I have that I wanted to make sure I had my color set properly and now I'm going to do a trace Remove my pins and hit start. machine set at 800 stitches per minute so, so it's not going to bounce around that much it's just doing an outline stitching This goes a lot faster than doing it by hand or on the regular sewing machine. Oh, let's see. Come unthreaded here. see that it didn't get the bottom part of my uh, M so we are going to back up we're going to go in reverse Sure, that is the very beginning, so I'll back up. And then when this is finished, I'll take it back over there and show you how I'm going to line it up to do my stippling. Okay. And this is what it looks like. And I will cut those 
threads and everything. Now let's go back and set it up for the stippling. Okay, now we've got this all finished. Looks nice. There are a couple of little threads here I need to clip. Then I'll clip on the back. Let's take it off the hoop. That double stick tape is pretty sticky. <laughs> This is my pattern for my stippling, and I'm just going to put it over maybe like two inches away from my uh, my wording. I'm going to put a pin right there. And when I digitize these, I've got some little marks here. They're going to. This is going to sew right here. This is going to be my lineup marks, and all it is is a basting stitch. And once it's all sewn and finished. I will be removing those stitches. Uh, I'm going to line this up just like this and I'm going to mark the center right up here and right here and right in the middle. So that's my center marks right here. Let's see, what I can do is, my ruler. take my ruler here, and mark my other center points. There we go. Now, I will hoop this the same way as I did the other one. And you can see this is going, this is where my center mark is going to be, is right here. So I'm going to need to scoot it over right in the center. So I need to make sure I've got my two inch mark right next to my template. There. Line that back up. Put my ribbon back on there. Then I'm going to clamp this back down. Need to get me some of those little clips that you can just push on there. Put one more over here. Then I'll put a couple right down here. Now, 
I've got this all hooped. I'll put it back on my frame. Making sure it's in there good and tight and tighten down the screws. And now I'm going to take this over to the machine and put this on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get this put on my machine here. Make sure my quilt back is out of the way here. Pull it back out of my, my trash kit. Just helps relieve the, the pressure on the frame. Alright, now I need to load my stipple quilting. Whoops, back. Oh, let's see, I want to do two, two. Sorry about that. Okay, we have got this set. Going to line up my mark here, and then we're going to do a trace. move this down just a hair it's a little bit off reclamp it But it did trace right next to my pin where I marked it and wanted, wanted it to meet. So I'm going to take my pin out so it doesn't sew over my pin and we're going to hit start. And we're going to do this stick of quilting. Like I said, first it's going to sew those little guidelines. Doing stipple quilting on the embroidery machine is so much faster than doing it by hand. This little patch here that I'm doing, and I'll do about four times, takes two minutes per stitching, so that's not long at all to do some stipple quilting. And it's all nice and uniform. doesn't get my ribbon there. there we go. Oh my goodness. I just noticed that I am stitching in purple. So I'm going to back this up and tear these stitches out and I'll be right back. <laughs> 